Hi, and welcome back to another episode here in Lawson Woods. So today I'm going to give you an update of the water system here in Lawson Woods. Now this is our temporary water system, but something you could do if you're off grid. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back. And so uh, it's been raining a lot, thankfully, here in Lawson Woods. And so we're collecting a lot of rainwater. And so what I do is I have a several purification process. So right now this tank is almost full, as you can see. And that's a 65-gallon uh, tank. And this one here is a 50-gallon tank. And this is where I actually pull the water from with the water pump. And that's inside here, inside the system. So this one's getting a little low. So what I need to do is transfer. First, I need to figure out the math. Because what I do to partially purify is I use a little bit of chlorine bleach. Uh, two teaspoons for every 10 gallons of water collected. So a little bit of a math, but not that big of a deal. So we basically look where we are in the system now. And right now I've got, a, oh, we're at, so I got 30, 40, 50. So it looks like 20 gallons are going to be transferred over. So one second here, and I'll show you how to do that. Pretty easy. Take the uh, little screen off that I have here. Undo this ever so slightly. Turn this little, <laughs> it's hard to do one handed. Right, anyways, turn that nozzle there over and then release the hounds. Okay, we'll just let that fill up. So it's taking the water from this tank now through a reservoir down, up, and into this tank. So inside this big tank where the water first comes in, I do actually treat it a little bit. I usually put like one teaspoon in uh, every now and then just to make sure that it kind of starts the process. And then when I transfer it over, that's when I'll put the chlorine bleach in here. So today, because we're doing about 20 gallons of transfer, that'll be four teaspoons of chlorine bleach. These are according to the guidelines and regulations that I found through the state of Washington. So, uh, of course, this is not advice for you. You should seek and do your own research. Do not take my advice. If you get sick or harmed or injured, it's on you. Uh, so this is just the first step of the process. So anyways, after it goes through the filtration process here with the bleach, then it goes through a filter here. And then on the inside of the house, I have another filter, although this looks like it's not on there quite right. So I'm probably losing some water. So on the inside of the house, I have another filter as well. I'm losing water here. Anyways, uh, and I'll show you that in the end where I actually use, I'm actually using the water now for drinking for myself and the dogs after it's been tested and uh, it's gone through two purifications and a boil. <laughs> so it's kind of overkill, but you never know. Anyways, that's an update for now. Thanks for joining. We'll be back with more. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Lawson Woods. Welcome back. And so now what we do from here is we turn the water on, as simple as turning the pump on. All right. uh, water inside the tiny house. We have hot and cold water. I'm going to turn it off for now. And uh, so what I do from here is the next phase is I use my Brita filter. Okay, and then after I fill the Brita filter up, then I boil the water, and then I finally use it for drinking and uh, coffee and for the dog's water uh, here in this cup. So, yeah, quite a process as you can see. So, but mine's overkill. You don't have to go that far. I'm just doing it because this is new to me and I'm trying to be safe. So, well, thanks for joining. Larry Lands beautiful tiny house in Lawson Woods. Don't forget, we got beer on tap. All right, maybe it's wine.